speak so highly of Joey Simcoe. Yeah. So it's not often when you have a member of Congress a few weeks uh, ahead of uh, general election not giving a stump speech, but uh, we're blessed to have Congressman Jim Jordan here because he has significant personal experience uh, with wrestling, knowing how it helps strengthen individuals and teams and communities. And so, Congressman, thank you for being here. Uh, just like a member of Congress to show up for the celebration, even though I had nothing to do with making this all happen. But um, I, I did learn a long time ago that good things in life don't just happen. You want to accomplish anything of meaning, anything of significance, anything of real lasting value. It takes work, it takes effort, it takes commitment, and it takes a willingness to assume some risk when you first set the goal. So I just came here to say congratulations uh, to everyone. Uh, Dr. Schumacher for your leadership, the board of the Adelsbergers and all that you've meant to this, uh, to this community, to Lonnie and your whole athletic program here, and of course to the coaches, Brittany and, and, and Joey, all the work that, that you've done, um, and to the student athletes. In the end, Mitch is exactly right. It's about the impact you leave on young people, the student athletes you have a chance to interact with and coach and mentor along the way. And so, uh, particularly the young ladies who are now this, this amazing new program that's starting here in our great state where wrestling has such a strong tradition, that is special as well. Um, you'll look back, all you, all you wrestlers here, you'll look back uh, and you'll remember certain coaches and teachers you had along the way. I always tell folks, next to your parents, if you think about people who impacted your life in a positive fashion, it was probably a coach or teacher you had along the way. And I think about my college wrestling coach, Coach Ellickson, but I really think about, well, I think about my dad a lot because he, he was my first coach and had a huge impact. But I think about my high school wrestling coach, uh, Coach McCon, and the things he taught us. Um, I tell people he was the toughest teacher in our school. He taught chemistry and physics. And I think he was the toughest wrestling coach in the whole state of Ohio. And this is not an exaggeration. Every single day, he talked about discipline. Every day. I can remember him in class. He'd say, hey, Jordan, this isn't any class. This is chemistry class. More importantly, it's my chemistry class. You want to do well in my class? It's going to take discipline, self-discipline, reading the material the night before, coming to class, prepared, doing the formal, doing the experiment. It's going to take discipline to do well in here. And then in the wrestling room, oh, my goodness. Every day, I can still hear it. Self-discipline is the most important character quality. You need to accomplish anything of meaning, anything of value. I like what that guy shot up. He sounds like my dad, right? <laughs> But he had a great definition, and it hangs in our wrestling room, our little high school down in St. Paris, Ohio, Graham High School. My brother coach, was the head coach there for 18 years, just actually just announced he's retiring. But they've been state champions for the last 18 years in a row. And in that wrestling room, the Ron McCunn Wrestling Room, named after Coach McCunn, who passed away a few years ago, there's all these state championship banners. But the biggest banner is on the main wall, bigger than all the others, and it says this, discipline, doing what you don't want to do when you don't want to do it, Ron McCunn. And that's what wrestling teaches you. And that's an important concept. It meant doing things the right way when you'd rather do them, the easy way it meant doing things, coach's way when you'd rather do them, the convenient way. But it's a principle that we learn when we're in sport, and particularly the sport of wrestling. And it's a, it's a special thing, and it's a special value. Um, it's funny, my favorite statement, though, is actually not, not just what Coach said. Since we're in baseball, I was just thinking this is walked up here. Uh, 30 years ago this year, uh, I love this baseball um, line by Earl Hersheiser. You guys remember when the Dodgers won 30 years ago, 88, the Dodgers obviously playing again, got beat last night, but I read this, uh, read the book about Hersheiser, and um, after they'd won the World Series, he wasn't, didn't have the best fastball, wasn't the best, but he just knew how to win, and was their, their leader, and they won the World Series, and read the book after that, uh, that he had written, and early in the book he says this, and I think, I think sport teaches this, and I think particularly the sport of wrestling teaches this, but he said in the start of his book, he said, great things can happen to ordinary people who are willing to work hard and never give up. Great things can happen to ordinary people who work hard and never give up. And my favorite word in the statement is the word ordinary. Stop and think about it. We're all just regular, ordinary people. Nobody's any better than anybody else. We're all in need of God's grace. But in this country, Ordinary people don't have to do ordinary things. They can do extraordinary things if they're willing to work hard and never quit. And that's what I think athletics is about, teaching those lessons about discipline, 
about ordinary people accomplishing extraordinary things and reaching their goals. And I particularly believe, because it was a sport I was so involved in, the sport of wrestling is uniquely qualified to teach those, those core concepts. And so those are the things I think we celebrate today, as well as this amazing community that loves this university and understands the impact it has on young people's lives. So thank you for letting me be a small part of it, and it's been, been great to be with you here today. God bless you.